Hey, sneaking Alex back today. Today we have Rossa 2012 LXDE version. Rossa is a Russian company doing Linux solutions, and they have several different versions out, but this is the LXDE version, well, actually a beta. It was released a couple of days ago, and I thought I'd give it a look and see what's going down. Now, based on Mandriva, by the way, so that's pretty stable, it's super fine to use. There are a few things I've got a problem with with it, though. One of the main ones being, it's a full CD if you overburn it. So, you've got to overburn the CD to actually get it on the CD. They might as well have done it onto a DVD with more packages, and I'll show you what I mean in a second, okay? So, we're going down to the menus first, okay? Well, open up the menu. Under accessories, we have calculator, LX terminal, leaf pad for your text editing, parcel light, the root terminal, and X archive. So, that's normal there for LXDE. You only get an image viewer, okay? Only an image viewer. Nothing else for your nearly 800 megabytes download. Under internet, you do get Firefox, Pigeon, and Ponoff, and a VPN, okay? So, that's all there. That's nice, okay? Under office, you do get LibreOffice. But it's a stripped out LibreOffice, and I'll show you what I mean. All you get is a writer and a spreadsheet, okay? Which, you know, I would prefer you might as well add the whole lot in there. I know some offices only use spreadsheets and writers, and text documents, should I say. But it would be nice to have the option to have presentation in there, and a drawing program, and a database, and formula, etc., and stuff like that, okay? So I'll open up the text document anyway, just to show you that it all works. There we go. We'll open them all up. And what version is it, you say? So we'll go to about LibreOffice. It's 343. Three. So that's pretty okay. Super duper. I don't mind. That, that can go now. Right, that's one little nigger out of the way. Right, secondly, install and remove software. Right, another problem. I'll put my password and I'll show you. You can't actually update the repos, okay? It actually can't connect to the, the Russian server and it tells you that it just can't connect. So all you'll have in here is what's already installed, even if you reload it. But as you can see, it's very mandriva like isn't it? So that's alright. Works for me. Does what it says on the tin. Just a pity I couldn't actually connect and get some more packages and do a couple of program installations. So that's one of the reasons why this video is going to be a little bit short. Okay, we're going to quit that. Right, sound and video. You get dead beef, pulse audio and VLC for your videos. Now, I'm not sure what VLC they use, and I know VLC 2's out now. It would be nice to see that in here. So we'll save and continue that first. And we'll just see, and we'll go to about. It is VLC 2.0.1. So you have the latest and greatest VLC. I know it works really, really nice. So go and give it a download if you haven't got it already. Okay, so bye bye. That's VLC. See you later. Okay, bonus and system tools. You get Catfish for your searching. Works very nice. I don't mind using it. It's free. Configure your computer, your file manager, Gigolo. You make a new login, your task manager. So we'll quickly open up that to see what's going down. This is a dual core machine, by the way. As you can see, it's only using 120 megabytes of my uh, 1000 megs of RAM, basically. CPU usage, yeah, it's fine. It's average for what it is. Mandriva, by the way, isn't it? So that works fine. We'll come out of that. Okay, where was it? System tools. You get Xterm, Ponoff again, and VPN, by the way. You also get your preferences, so you can customize your look and feel as you would do. It's LXDE. Your monitor settings are there. You do have to save them. They won't do automatically, okay? I'll just remind you of that. Your open box configurator is also here. Post audio preferences, etc., etc., etc. Now, I would say this is really aimed at the Russian market, right? Bear in mind, it's a very large country with lots of people in it. So they've got a nice little base there to work on. But it is available in English now and lots of other languages because it's Mandriva based, so that's super cool. Right, as you can see down here on the LXDE bar, we have a file manager, terminal, your web browser, catfish, and iconify all your windows, etc. etc. Over here, we've got a couple of extra folders, home, and your downloads, all there. So I've opened up my home, we'll open, yep. Yes, we know no medium is there, you keep saying that. And there's my home folder, empty, because I've not put anything in it, by the way. You also get a clipboard, here's my ethernet here. And if I click here, this is your exit menu. Okay, well, we're not going to use that just yet, are we? So I'll cancel that. We're going to open up the browser. It's the latest Firefox, by the way, so it should work super fine for you. And it's gone to the site. Excuse me. <clears throat> so this is their wiki wiki, Jungle is Massive. And we're going to have a look, see what it says on the tin. Oh, yes. So that tells you all about it, all you really want to know. La, 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 la. I mean, I'll go on and on and on and on. But the kernel here, as it says here, 3.0.26 LTS. Super duper. Right, 
If you fancy it, go and download it. But as it's a beta, I'm not going to rate it. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.